Here we're going to make a very, very simple seasonal dessert. So we're going to make a very simple sable pastry case and then a creme patisserie or pastry cream. We're going to start off with pastry. So here we have some strong flour. Classically, you'd always have plain flour, but we're going to give this a little bit more so it's easier to work with at the end. Next thing that goes in, icing sugar. So instead of your traditional caster sugar, we keep it as smooth as possible. We're going to add a little touch of salt. Very important to mix our dry ingredients. And now we're going to add our butter. Traditionally, you would always add cold butter into a pastry and you would mix it till it's almost crumbly. But it becomes very hard to work with. So what we do here is we let the butter soften slightly and we're going to make almost a paste. So at this point, we're ready to add our eggs. I add one at a time into the mix. Full speed. I'm just going to give it about 10 seconds at this point. Straight onto the board. Just going to use my hands just to roughly bring it together into a smooth enough ball. The trick at this point is we don't want to overhandle it because there's a lot of butter in there. So once it's worked together into a almost roll it, kind of like a sausage, just like so. We need to rest this in the fridge. So very, very important when you're working with pastry is the resting periods. Just give it a very, very light roll. We don't want to use too much cling film. Knife straight through, just like that. It's ready for the fridge. So after about at least an hour, preferably two to three or even overnight, this is what we're left with. It's come together, lovely texture to it. And this pastry is now ready to roll. Just start to slowly work it in our hands not overdoing it, but giving us enough pliability that we'll be able to roll it in neat shape. So, at this point, it's like working with Play-Doh. That's the perfect texture we're after. A little bit of flour, just plain flour, strong again. Don't be afraid, we'll just use our hands. Now, pastry goes right in the middle, just on top, touch more flour, and then we use our rolling pin. So I'm gonna roll this about just over one centimeter thick. So, at this point, what we do is we do a first cut. So I take a ring, which fits just about wider than the, the pastry case you're going to use. And I cut my ring, just like so. This goes onto our flour tray. We're going to give it about two or three minutes in the freezer to let that butter firm up, so it'll be ready to work again. And now, as I said, these are a little bit thick, so we're going to give them a second roll, and then they're ready to go in the pastry cases. I just give it one roll, and slowly start to turn it so it maintains that circular shape and fits neatly into our cases. So this is a handy little trick. All we do is we get our rolled piece of pastry, fit it neatly into the base of the pastry case, and slowly fit it into the space we have. Once we have it like so, we got our second case, and I just give it a little push. What this does is it sets the pastry in place, and then without any hassle, all we do is we grab a small knife and we follow the shape of the case around, take away any of the excess. At this point, it's ready for the oven and I'm gonna give it 10 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. Next element of this dish is pastry cream. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pot and I'm gonna fill it with my cream and my milk. Pretty much equal quantities of both. So fresh vanilla pods, you can buy them in most select stores. And the first thing we do is we scrape the very valuable seeds and that goes along with the cases after. Once the egg yolk, sugar, corn flour have come together and make a nice uniform paste, it's now time to add our scorched milk and cream mix. So all I do is I get the pot and as I'm whisking, feed it in. And at this point, bring in a clean pot. Into this, we're gonna pour the whole mix. So I'm now whisking this over a medium heat. What's gonna happen in about a minute is the corn flour is gonna activate, and it's gonna start thickening this into our paste or pastry cream. So it's thickened up lovely. We just pull it onto our board. I'll pull out our vanilla pods, just like so. We now just have our pastry cream in here. All that's left to do is give it a bit of a hand blend. Try not to make too much of a mess. And then the last element, we just stick it in a piping bag. We're going to give it about an hour just to chill down in the fridge. 
So all our elements are ready to go. Our pastry case has come out of the oven. We've let it rest, so what you get when you pop the lid off? It's a perfect little pastry case, just like so. So in here is our cooled creme patisserie down in the bag, and we're gonna pipe it into the base of our pastry case. After that, we're gonna garnish it. So I'm using raspberries today, even shapes, even sizes. I'm gonna give it a little touch of icing sugar. A Couple of little sprigs of the very, very small mint leaves that you get in the very, very center of each stem. Next, just a little bit of lemon zest. It just enhances the sweetness of those raspberries. So this is the very exterior of the vanilla pod. What I've done is I've run my knife through it very, very thinly. So when you eat it, you won't actually feel it in your mouth. You'll just get that lovely fragrant vanilla oil. And then lastly, just a touch of the creme pot in the base of our plate to make sure it doesn't slide in it, and we're ready to go.